We're talking about the Eagles and the Bears. It's the late game tomorrow, but Tom Pelissero and Stacey Dales are already at Soldier Field. They're early. So, Tom, what's the latest on the defending champs? Colleen, I spoke yesterday with Eagles defensive back Trey Sullivan, who compared Bears quarterback Mitch Trubisky to a guy Philly faced a couple of weeks ago, Houston's Deshaun Watson, in terms of how Trubisky uses his legs as a weapon, particularly on third down. A big emphasis for the Eagles defense tomorrow is going to be containing Trubisky in the pocket. Make him try to beat you from there. Several Eagles players also pointed out that stopping Trubisky on third down really begins on first and second. They need to take away the Bears' running game, get him into some of those backed-up situations where Trubisky Trubisky's running threat and the quick passing game aren't as dangerous. Let the Eagles turn loose that pass rush led by Fletcher Cox. I also spoke to Cox, who said you can feel the energy in the building this week, even though the Eagles have already had to use a lot of it just to get into the playoffs. For more on the Bears, here's Stacey Dales. Speaking of Mitch Trubisky, Tom, wow, uncharted territory. Second-year quarterback, first playoff game. He's ready to go. The message from his head coach to the quarterback this week, Matt Nagy, don't change. Be you. And you mentioned, Tom, third down. Well, this quarterback has come so far in Mitchell Trubisky. His progressions, one, two, and then that third down progression in the last two games, you said it, Tom, he has an 81% completion rate on third downs against San Francisco and the Minnesota Vikings combined. I asked Nagy what's been the difference. Think about this. It's week 18, ostensibly, in the NFL season. He said he's finally starting to understand the identity of this offense. When he gets in the huddle, he calls a play. He's looking at what the defense is doing and not necessarily what his own offense is doing. That is evolution, Colleen. Mitch Trubisky ready to go here for the Eagles Sunday. Yeah, these last three weeks for him, he's cleaned up a lot of the mistakes that he was making earlier in the year, and he's been making some big plays. Stacy, thank you, and Tom as well. So Mitch Trubisky here in his first playoff start. How will he perform against the Eagles defense that's been playing a lot better? Recently? Yeah, this, this Eagles defense has been off the chain, especially uh, here late here of late. I mean, Michael Bennett has has definitely turned it on, and I think uh, Matt Nagy being the play caller of, of the Chicago Bears offense and Mitchell Trubisky, they got to find ways to kind of throw this defensive front off. You know, doing doing uh, naked boot bootlegs, um, uh, jet sweeps, screens, all of the type of things to kind of slow pass rushers down, like like you see right here. Get these backs. Get uh, Jordan Howard in space and force the defensive backs to have to try to tackle uh, these big guys. And, and, and you're right. Um uh, Mitchell Trubisky's taking ownership of this offense. I've been saying it all year. When this kid finally says, you know what, this is my team. This is my offense. This is this is all built around what I do. This team was just going to take off, and they've done that. He has to, you know, cut down on some of the turnovers, 12 interceptions to only 24 uh, touchdowns this season. But I'm telling you, if this team can be wide open like it's been all season, this will be a tough matchup for the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, for me, not having a week off is really going to help Mr. Trubisky. When you go back to the games where he had the shoulder injury mm -hmm. and he was off, you saw the rust, the same rust we saw with the long bye when the Los Angeles Rams, uh, Jared Goff beat the, the Kansas City Chiefs. They had that long period off. He comes back, looks rusty. These young guys, they're extremely young and also – naive to what's going on and that's always good because you don't have to worry about you don't know what you're risking you don't know you know but you have no idea so having uh going into no bye week being young it all works out for these guys and Mitch Trubisky is one of those guys that I believe is going to continue to get better and get more comfortable but having no rest I think helps him uh, come along a little bit better. I feel like I hear it both ways. It's like... Some, yes. I, I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it can work. I know what you're going to say. It Hit just it. depends Hit on it. the outcome. Hit it. So it's like, you know, if a, a quarterback has experience in the playoffs and the savvy vet and he's been there before and he knows the pressure that's in the game and then if he's a rookie, it's like he doesn't know what the pressure is and he hasn't been there to face yeah. it so he doesn't know what he doesn't know. What is the better place to be? It depends on the person. It depends on the situation. And it depends on the outcome, And it too. depends on the outcome. Well, yeah. You can because say. the coaches, the coaches <laughs> will do all that. But I also believe being young sometimes is an advantage because you just wake up and go, I'm in the playoffs. I'm a young kid. Mm -hmm. this, is what I've this is what I've desired to do my whole life. This is a dream come true. Man, let me go out here and roll this dice and play with this house money. Versus when you're older, you play – 
in your mind. You don't mind. have those demons. You, no, you play the statistics. You start to be able to, well, if I do this, if I, you start to overprocess, overthink. And I, I, I know we can talk to our, to our face, you know, talk to our faces blue, right, uh, about whether the quarterback needs experience or not. You guys are right. We're all right, right? I mean, it just depends on the person. It depends on the situation. Everything's, everything is different. But, Steve, you've been in the playoffs. I have, too. Nobody can sit here and tell me the playoffs aren't different. Nobody can sit here and tell me. I don't care if you're old, young, or whatever. You look at the playoffs differently. Yes. You can almost cut the tension in the air with a butter is knife. It, is it it's faster? So I heard it's faster. It's, it's faster. It's faster. It hit harder. And everything. The, and the first I love time, it. The first time I went to the playoffs, I prepared so much that it totally changed the way that I prepared to play regular season games. Because yep. I'm like, if really? I'm this prepared, what am I doing during Correct. the regular season? So, I, I, you know, young guys will be affected by playing in the playoffs no matter what. And How I'll is your you, preparation different? I, I'll tell you one thing that's a – I want to answer that. Th- th- I'll tell you one of the things that's really good is having a home game is to your advantage. You sleep in your own bed. You have your own routine. You got your the gate guy. You don't have people, to leave early. The guy that's at the, <laughs> at, at the parking lot. You just have your routine. You get more comfortable. Nothing is better understanding as all your elements that you're used to are right there. The traveling team has to get familiar, has to go through this, has yeah. to go through that. So having home field advantage helps you. Colleen, to answer your question real quick, uh, what changed in the preparation um, was that there's no tomorrow. Mm. You, you, there's no tomorrow. I, I, I needed to make sure that I was never going to be surprised on Sunday or Saturday when I played the game because there is no tomorrow. We lose, game's over, we have the exit, mm-hmm. we have the exit meetings. No so, you watch so you watch more film. So you watch more film. You look at everything to, to, to right to the T to make sure that you're right. So that prepares <sighs> You going into the prepares you going to the regular season moving forward. Mm-hmm. This is what it means to be a professional. This is what it means to study tape. Mm-hmm. And so it becomes part of who you are, becomes part of your habits. It's not just a light switch, turn it mm-hmm. on and turn right. it off. It becomes part of your DNA, which causes causes you to be a professional. So being in the playoffs makes you better in the regular season. So maybe the savvy vets are the better bet in the playoffs. <laughs> Full circle. 